let's talk about chemistry of niacin. Niacin is basically made up of pyridine three carboxylic acid. So in the first thing, what you can see is the structure of let me highlight it. Okay. This is a structure of pyridine. Okay. And when it has a carboxylic group here, we call it as niacin. If the niacin gets amino group or amide group, it becomes niacinamide. And this is nicotine that is present in the tobacco. So we are basically talking about this niacin, which is present as niacinamide. Okay. So basically what it is, pyridine three carboxylic acid. Pyridine three carboxylic acid. You might be wondering, it is a fifth uh, position over here. But, uh, it's uh, wrongly shown. Uh, it should have been five carboxylic acid. Thank you. Synthesis of niacin. Niacin can be obtained from external dietary sources also. Now, isn't that word confusing? Yes. That just goes on to show that niacin is obtained in two ways. One, from the external source. Two, is kind of synthesized in the body by an amino acid. And that amino acid is nothing but aromatic amino acid, tryptophan. If we have to produce one milligrams of niacin, which the body should have sufficient stores of tryptophan. Around 60 milligrams of tryptophan should be present produce niacin. If there is deficiency of tryptophan, still we will end up having tegra. If there is deficiency of niacin, we will have deficiency of niacin and have tegra. So it's quite common even if you have amino acid deficiency or the niacin deficiency per se, it will lead to tegra. Synthesis of niacin from tryptophan also requires participation of other vitamins in the form of their coenzymes. This is a very important point to be highlighted. Means you require pyridoxin, you require riboflavin, as well as iron. Even though a person is having good amounts of tryptophan, he won't be able to synthesize niacin if he is having deficiency of pyridoxin. So apart from pyridoxin deficiency disorders, the patient will also have pellagra-like symptoms. Okay, So it's quite important that coenzymes are also sufficiently divided in the body. Let us talk about the RDA, or required recommended dietary allowance. It is about 20 milligrams per day. And obviously, uh, during pregnancy and lactation, the demand increases to plus two to five. Sources. The best source are liver, meat, beans, legumes, eggs, whole grains and dried yeast. Milk is apparently the poor source as uh, it does not have good amounts of niacin. However, it is protein rich. Uh, so it has good amounts of tryptophan. So you're you are not directly providing the niacin. You are providing tryptophan, which can be utilized to provide uh, synthesize niacin. Maize. Maize is deficient. Uh, most of the books will mention that maize is deficient in niacin, but actually, maize does have niacin. But the niacin is very tightly bound form and is not so easily available. Okay, so that would be a better way to put it rather than saying maize is deficient in niacin. So we will see the next uh, things in the subsequent video.